This is a test drive for Zo Jo Sonja paints that were sent to me by a viewer, very nice lady who I've been conversing with, who sent me 20 tubes of this wonderful paint. So I decided I will try a couple of techniques with it and see how it behaves. So I'm going to do an open cup technique. I've flooded the canvas with black and I'm torching for bubbles because there always are a lot of bubbles. Uh, you put down your ring, a little bit of black around the outside, then I start layering the colors in. So I used a really pretty turquoise, a lime green, and an olive green from this line. And to it I added my copper and a gold just to give it a little bit more life. It was very sweet of her to send them to me, and again, I want to say thank you. Uh, they're coming up under the cup, but I'm not seeing any cells, and that may be that I've mixed my paint a little bit on the thicker side, because I want to do an abstract that will hold its shape. I want to see sort of how uh, these paints work together and with other pigments. pretty patterning coming through but what I'm noticing is uh, the olive green and even the lime green sort of sat under my black paint uh, so what I'm going to do with this to bring the colors through is I'm going to do some large schmears and some tilting to stretch and bring the colors up from below
these are really beautiful paints. You see much more of that turquoise tone and a little bit of the olive green has now come through and that bright lime green up at the top. Um, tilting, working on composition, doing a few smears. Actually, this piece has a lot of depth and movement to it. It's a beautiful paint, very creamy, mixes very nicely. I'm going to try it in another application right after this video, so if you stay tuned, you'll see the number two test drive. really pretty how these paints played together. Uh, I did large smears with a cake server and created movement, brought colors up from underneath. I love how beautiful that turquoise blue and the olive green work together. Uh, the punch of the copper and the gold just brings it to life. All in all, really pretty paint to work with. I'm going to be doing more experiments with it and see how it behaves, but it seems to want to lay under other paints, so you need to use a technique to help bring it up, uh, either by tilting and bringing layers up or smearing and moving the paint around so that you can bring the paint from below up to the surface. So the second experiment is going to be a mallet smash, which is always fun. You start by placing puddles layered. There's the lovely olive green and my sergeant copper, of course. I find it is beautiful in a mallet smash. That pretty turquoise is a Joe Sonia's color. It always needs to have a little bit of black. get my mallet out and I give it a couple of wax. Uh, 
I add smears to add detail to make them look like flowers. I, you can smear in or smear out. So you're smearing in, bringing black into your paint colors, or you can pull color out into the black. Really pretty colors, vibrant, pigmented quite heavily, very creamy texture. Uh, I really love them and recommend them. And thank you again to my very generous friend for sending these to me to try. I was really taken back at your generosity. Again, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you wish to get in touch with me, my email address will be in the description box. Uh, if you wish to purchase any of my art, it is for sale. Or if you wish to talk about a private online one-on-one -on -one virtual lesson where we work on consistency and a couple of techniques that you might want to try. It's a lot of fun, so come paint with me. Great. Thanks again and uh, let's keep making beautiful things.